Caught on camera, a New Bedford police cruiser collides with this car right here. Hello once again, I'm Dan Janik. And I'm Tamara Sakarzik and for Emily. Police are investigating this weekend crash. NBC 10's Timmy Topa Adelaide is live in New Bedford. Timmy Topa. Dan and Tamara, the crash happened here at Ashley and Deed in the north end of the city, and locals tell me they're not surprised. Sunday morning, a surveillance camera catches the moment a New Bedford police cruiser and a car collide at Ashley Boulevard and Dean Street before the car hits a parked SUV. And so what's your reaction to learning about the crash here involving a police cruiser? Um, it doesn't really surprise me. Um, this area tends to be um, oversped with, you know, regular vehicles and or police. The driver of the civilian car steps out, puts his hands on his head, realizing at that moment their week just got a lot worse. More police cars arrive to investigate and the cruiser is taken away on a flatbed truck. A trip to the body shop looks to be in order. The intersection is controlled by a traffic light, but it's not clear if a driver ran a red light or if the police officer was responding to a call. Mark McRae works in the area and says he sees speeding up and down local streets all the time. Just a few weeks ago, I was replacing one of the floors in the building, and there was several police cruisers um, chasing a suspect, I guess, on like an ATV or dirt bike. I was standing on the side of the road at my truck, and there was at least anywhere from 6 to 12 police cruisers marked and unmarked going at an excess of 50 miles an hour down the street, lights on, sirens going. We spoke to other locals who say they too worry about people who walk in the area. What about if you clip somebody, you know, going 50 and you kill them because you're chasing somebody that you may not even get? You know, well, what is that helping? McRae says everyone needs to use less speed on local streets. Slow down more and pay attention more, especially in heavily populated streets. We reached out to the New Bedford Police Department for a comment, but no one was available because of the Patriots Day holiday. Live in New Bedford, Temi Talk Badalea, NBC 10 News.